Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to create stunning grid layouts using Divi's video module. The goal of this mini series is to give you some inspiration and some design ideas which you can use in your own projects. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive into the mini series. Start by logging into your WordPress admin dashboard and then create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So my page is just going to be, I'll just call this video mini series, but you can call your page whatever you want. So I'm going to come over here and click on use the Divi builder and I'm going to go straight into the visual builder. So in the visual builder, the first thing we want to do is to add the column structure. So I'm going to click this plus button and we're going to add these three. Next, we're going to add a dark translucent background to each of the columns, which will serve as a frame around each of our videos. So to do that, we're going to come over here to our row settings, click on background. So now we have the opportunity to add the backgrounds to each of these columns. So I'm going to click on this plus button here and I am going to add my color. So I'm just going to come over here and paste it. Now, if you'd like to get the exact colors or the exact settings throughout this uh, mini series, all you have to do is to go to our blog post, which I've linked in the show notes below. That's how you add your um, background color. So we'll repeat this process to this, the second and third columns. So now that we have all this in place, the next thing we need to do is to add some padding to our columns. So I'm going to come over here to my design tab, click on spacing, and I'm going to come right here to column one and add 15 pixels to the top, 15 to the right, bottom and left. So do the same to column two and column three. So once you've added all the padding, just go ahead now and save. Now it's time to add our first video module. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button to add our module. And I'm going to search for it because it just saves me time to scroll all the way down until I find it. So I'm going to click on the video module here. Okay, so to add our video, we need to add the video URL. So I'm going to come over here to my YouTube channel and select a video. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm just going to copy and paste my URL paste it here like that. Okay, so now that we have our video in place, the next thing we need to do is to customize this and add a different player and also an overlay. So let's come over here to overlay and um, there's two ways we could do this. We can either add an image from our image library or we can generate one from the video. So I'd like to have a customized image. So I'm going to come over here to upload and then I'm going to come and choose my image from here, from my media library. Now, if you don't have any images in your media library, all you have to do is to click upload and they'll be added onto your media library. So I'm going to click upload an image. So you can see now we have a beautiful icon and this image is pretty much customized. Now, before we save, if you'd like to change this color for the play icon, you can come over here to design, click on play icon, and this is where you can add your color. So. For for now, I'm just gonna paste. I'm just gonna paste my color in here, but you can choose any color that works with your brand. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to add a blurb. So I'm gonna come over here, click on new module, and I'm gonna click my blurb module. Okay, so I'm gonna start by adding my content. I'm gonna add my title, and then I'm gonna come over here to background and add our background color. So again, I'm going to paste my RGBA value like that. So the next thing we're going to do now is to go into design and make some design changes. So I'm going to come over here to text and make sure this is turned to light because we can't read it from this dark background. And then on the text orientation, we're going to set that to center. We're going to come over here to header text and set it to Roboto. Now this is a bit too close together. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some letter spacing of one pixel. So that's slightly much better. Okay. So let's go to the body text. And for this, we're going to change this to open sans. So we're going to come over here and select open sans size 14 is fine. So we'll leave that as it is. Next, we're going to add the body text color. So I'm just going to paste my value in here like that. And then we're going to go to border and we're going to make sure that we set this to yes. Okay. So let's leave the width at one pixel, but we're going to change the border color because that one is a bit too, because white is a, is a bit too bright. So I'm just going to paste my border color here and it's a subtle change. We're going to go to spacing and add a minus 10 custom margin to the top. 
And then finally, we're going to add some padding of 15 pixels all around. So by adding this padding, we are creating space inside this rectangle. So this makes it look much better and easier to read. So let's come over, uh, back here to the header text uh, because that's slightly small. We would like to ideally to make it nice and bold. So let's increase this to about size 30. And what I'm also going to do is instead of having two lines, I'm just going to have one line. So I'm going to come over here to my content and click on text. And then I'm just going to minimize this. Okay, so that's looking much better. Now we can go ahead and save. So what we need to do is we need to add this same content onto the next columns. So instead of doing this whole process as I did before, it takes a lot of time. So the easiest way is to duplicate these and just drag them over. So I'm going to come over here and use some shortcuts. I'm going to use Command C to copy and then come over here and Command V to paste. And I'm going to do the same here as well. Command V to paste. And then I'm going to come over here to the blurb. Again, I'm going to do a Command C. Come over here and do a Command V to paste. And I'm going to do the same. Now, if you're on a Mac, it's Command C to copy and Command V to paste. If you're on a PC, it's Control C to copy and Control V to paste. So next, we need to create another row, but this time it needs to have two columns. So to do that, we're just going to duplicate the whole row. So I'm going to click this duplicate button. And then I'm going to come in here and delete one of these like that. And then I'm going to click this column structure and set it to two. Okay, so now that we have all this in place, the next thing we need to do is to add our background image to this section. So I'm going to come over here to the section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to come over here to the third tab because this one is the one that allows us to import our background image. So I'm going to click this plus button here. And this is the image I'm going to use. So I'm going to click on it and click upload an image. So now you can see that it's been applied to our background. So next, we're going to come over here to use parallax and we're going to uh, say yes. So pretty much this is our design for the dark version. So what we're going to do next is to create the light version. So I'm going to come over here and duplicate this section. And then I'm going to work on this. Okay, so first off, come over here to the section settings. And let's go to our background. Now for this to work, we need to change this background to a lighter uh, background. So I'm going to click this delete button and then add a another background. So uh, I'm going to select this background here, click upload an image, and then I'm going to save. For our column backgrounds, we need to add a different color. So let's come over here to our, our row settings, click on background, and then just click on this gear icon to access the settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enter my new color here. I'm going to do the same here. And then I'm going to do it on the last one. Click on save changes. And then you also need to do the same for these two. So the process is the same. Okay, so when you've done all that, just go ahead now and save. So finally, we need to go in and edit the blurbs. So go into the blurb settings. Click on design. No, click on background. Click on the gear icon for the settings and then we're just going to paste the new color in here like that. Click on save. So what we need to do next is to change the header colors. So let's go over here to our design tab, click on header text, and let's change our header text color to, to this so that it's easier to read. Next, we need to go to the body text color. So we're going to change this and paste our hex, hexadecimal value in here. And then finally, we need to go to the border and change this border to white. Okay, perfect. So now that we have all that in place, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then finally, to add these to the rest of the columns, all you have to do is to duplicate them and put those in place. Okay, so this is our final design. So we have the dark version and the light version. And the good thing about these layouts is they're also mobile responsive. So they work very well on desktop and mobile devices. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.